day 50, and we have an absolutely rock solid cold tub today. How exciting. I feel like today's should be the coldest one. I mean, the coldest we ever got was 29 degrees, but this is also the thickest the ice has ever been. Let's see. I can't even see. Hopefully I didn't just break it, and I did. I just broke the thermometer. But we're at, out, 30 degrees. It's stuck in there. I'm, I'm not trying to get too cold. To, before we get in here. A little bit of anxiety today, but it's only from this, like just knowing it's absolutely cold outside and I have to go get in cold ass water. It's just a, a weird ass mental battle. But we're here, we are here. Day 50 though, who'd have thought? I mean, I did, but like to actually do it is, that's pretty remarkable. All right. Let's go. There's ice on my back. I can't get in any further here. Pretty cool. Yesterday I had one of the better workouts we've had. Super great intensity. Today, I don't know if I'm working out or not. Wanna go get caught up on some things. Day 50 though. I can't get in any further. There's ice along the sides of this that's stopping me from getting any lower. But wow, day 50, who'd have thought? It's crazy to think of. And it's, and it's happened so fast, like so fast. <clears throat> Just taking it one day at a time. Not overthinking. Just doing, like my life is like robotic right now. Like it's just like a simulation. Like everything's just repeat, repeat, repeat. Come here, Louie. Come here. Come here. It's not as cold as I like, expected it to be. I mean, it's all 
it always just feels the same but I'm sure like this ice sharp on my back isn't the greatest but like my fingers just hurt like right at my joints guess it's supposed to snow today and then we have a couple of colder or more colder days coming up this week weekend and week I don't know if we're ever gonna get to like normal water temperature like 45 degrees but whatever it just sucks because me doing this when it's this cold outside and the water is this cold has absolutely no difference than if it's 45 degrees water and 70 degrees outside it makes no difference same thing with duration like if I sit in here for three minutes or six minutes or 10 minutes it makes absolutely no difference this is getting really like painful on my back but it's like now I wonder do I take all this ice out because tomorrow it's just gonna refreeze and get even more difficult but if I take it out, then the water goes down. So it's like, whatever. But. I feel like my dog's gonna run through the hole in the fence here, so. Day 51. Oh boy. Well, it's not as bad, thankfully. There is a lot of snow, though. Oh, this is that weird stuff. My feet have been like under the snow for like the last five minutes. thing I don't like about doing this is I lose so much water by doing this. My feet are so cold. The snow is over my feet and I wear sandals out here, so that sucks. I wouldn't say that it's cold outside. It's 27 degrees, wind chill is 17. There's a nice little breeze that's absolutely freezing, but it's 
Pretty much just the same thing every day. That's how I look at it. Try not to overthink it. It's always going to be cold. That's kind of the pro the point of this whole thing, so I'm not going to sit here and act brand new. Day 51. We have to do shoulders today. Um, I have a photo shoot at a bodybuilding show today. That'll be around 1-ish. And then uh, after that will be our workout. Just making progress at the studio though. Very good progress. It's gonna be 18 degrees tomorrow night. So that'll be fun as well. I went back to my OG food, and uh, it seems to help out a little bit. You know, it's not the greatest, but I'm just going to not think about it and just get through it. It's just all mental, kind of, I guess. can't wait for it to be not winter anymore. This shit is exhausting. Like I'm, I've never really like been like bothered by the cold, but it's getting a little a little much. Just kind of ready for the uh, the warmth. Yesterday it was interesting. We had like too many snowstorms. What's good ladies and gentlemen, it is day 51 and we are doing shoulders. It's going to be interesting to try to have the same intensity we did for our back workout, but we're going to have some fun with it. So we're going to start our shoulder day with upright rows, we're going to do 4 sets of 15, then we're going to do a military press with dumbbells for 4 sets of 12, then we're going to do a rope front raise, I don't know if I'm going to do them between my legs or if I'm going to do them seated above my head. We'll figure that out when we get there. We're gonna do three sets of 12, then we're gonna do a leaning side single side raise. So it's just gonna be me holding onto a bar at this angle with my body, just individually doing those. We're gonna do three sets of 12, and then we're gonna do face pulls four sets of 20, and that's gonna be our shoulder day. So, yeah, let's uh, hop on our warm up and get to it. Warming up our shoulders like we do every upper body workout especially for shoulders. My back is super sore, I like it. Three more of these and uh, we'll get to it. Set to 15. I'm gonna go neutral grip.
added 10 more pounds. Right into it, about a 15 second rest. Last set of this, shoulders feel incredible already. I don't even know how many sets of this I got, but 12 reps is the goal. I gotta figure out what I did last week because these felt heavier than last week. I feel like I did these, but I could have did the 50s. But we'll see. 12 is the goal, but with this intensity, it's obviously gonna be harder to do, but I'm just gonna do as many reps as I can every set. <sighs> Or every set, rather. some more out of that. Yeah, I can't. Now we're crooked the other way. I jumped the gun and uh, was gonna do the side raises. I forgot these were next, so. Haven't done these in a long time.
My shoulders are on fire. I haven't done these in so long. This feels good to just not do like boring side raises. my shoulder pump through my hoodie, which is a good sign. Means we're doing something right. Four sets of 20, and we're done. This might be like the, the most efficient shoulder workout I've had yet. Like, all my shoulder muscles are insanely, like, as full as they could be. And it, it feels good. I feel like I have bowling balls on my shoulder. And uh, I can't say that often. Usually never do them like that. I mean, I'm sure you've seen them like that, like the second shoulder workout I had. Because usually I would just go elbows here, but now I feel so much more of my back completely getting contracted. Once I come all the way back, as if I'm doing this to here, I just feel that so much more on my shoulders. So that's the new wave. Two more sets. One more set. All right, last set. I know these aren't the prettiest, at least towards the end. I was gonna lighten the weight, but I wanna keep the intensity. Even if the reps are a little sloppy, it's still a forced contraction. Let's go. Let's go. I can't 
take no loss. I don't even know what it costs.